Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I know y'all are probably tired of hearing this by now, but I was re-watching the direct again and I noticed something that I didn't before. So naturally, you know, I was probably on like my third watch, fourth watch of the direct for the day, okay? And like, mind you, I watch this direct like every single day, multiple times a day, okay? I cannot get enough, and every time I watch it, I notice something new that I hadn't before. But this time, uh, you know, watching the direct, and we got up to this part with all the heroes and the class changes. And I noticed skills can be mastered as well as arts, because we know about um, mastering arts and all that, and fusion arts and all that, but I don't think we've ever got like anything about mastering skills. I'm, I don't know if this has been talked about, but I doubt because I've been keeping up with all of the um, all of the monopon tweets and I don't think they've talked about this. They might have, I forgot, but I don't think so. But uh, apparently skills can be mastered too, as you can see right here, Noah um, is masterable skills, I guess, or the sword fighter class. The skills that can be mastered from there are Cypher Edge, and there's more. Here for War Medic, you can master, um, wait, for Noah, what was it? Oh yeah, Cypher Edge in Covert Attack. For War Medic, it's Healing License and Antibody System. These are only a handful. And then for Guarding Commander, Protector's Pride and Mind for Guarding. So, you can actually master skills. Now, arts, that's self-explanatory. You can master the arts and put them on um, the characters once you master them, and those just get mapped to the D-pad, so you get like a whole second rotation of arts. But how would mastering skills work? So, like, would we have an affinity tree? Or affinity chart for every character? And on those charts, you can, like, mix and match skills because mastering skills will break the game even more now when that it's paired with mastering arts because you know we learn about mastering arts and yeah that's kind of cool that's going to be very good because you can give certain characters certain arts from certain um classes but now we can also like master skills so that's assuming you can transfer skills to other characters that's actually kind of broken what that paired with mastering arts that leads to like that opens up to so so much more like build diversity and just customization for the combat they really are going all out for this game i swear they're just like imagine you can just master skills okay now mind you it may not be as broken as i think or may not work as i think but the way i think it works is you know there's like some affinity tree or affinity chart uh you know like in xenoblade 2 there's all these bunch of actually no maybe they're bringing skill trees back like with um xenoblade 1 and you know how in xenoblade 1 we have the skill link where you can give skills like characters you know give a character's skills to someone else through skill link okay so maybe it's like that now that i think about it it may not be as broken as i thought so yeah now that i think about it makes more sense we're having the skill trees from xenoblade one back and then the master skills are going to be like um just skill linking like in xenoblade one okay this is Damn, I was really like excited, got my hopes up and everything for this, just for it not to be what I thought it was. If I just thought about it just a little bit more, I would have figured out, oh, it's kind of just like Xenoblade 1. Which, hey, it's better than nothing. We didn't have that in Xenoblade 2. Every character had their own affinity chart and they could only, you know, have their own skills. So, you know, we couldn't share skills, but I guess, you know, they made up for that with all of the blades having their own affinity charts and all their own unique skills. But um, 
Yeah, so apparently Xenoblade 1 skill trees are back and the mastering skills will be able to like share them with skill link. But then again, in Xenoblade 1, you could share like any skill you wanted. Now granted, you had enough affinity coins for it, but here in Xenoblade 3, it may not work the same because, you know, master skills, those are the masterable skills. Protect his pride and mind for guarding for a guarding commander. So maybe there's only certain skills you can master in skill link with each character. Or maybe just the two arts or two skills that it shows for each character. Those are like that class specific skills. And you know, the classes share a bunch of other different skills, but like each class gets their own like signature two skills. Maybe that's how it works. So those two skills are masterable, and if that's the case, then maybe skill trees aren't back. But I'm kind of thinking that they are, because they're called skills here, and you know, they're called skill trees in Xenoblade 1. Xenoblade 2, yeah, the character still had skills on the affinity chart, but I don't think anywhere in the game is like specifically stated that they are skills. I don't know, I could be fucking dumb and not thinking about it, but... Yeah, mastering skills, that kind of like blew my mind for a second when I f was first thinking about it. But now that I'm you know, making this video, it may not be as broken as I thought. And I also just now notice, see, every time I watch this trailer, I notice something new. I just now noticed down here on the Y button says use Nopon coins. I know you can use Nopon coins for cooking and for gem crafting. But what the hell would you use it here for? What would you use Nopon coins here for to like, maybe you can use Nopon coins to upgrade your class rank. Like, you know, you get CP class points for, you know, battling. Maybe you can use Nopon coins instead, like in place of the points and use that to level up or rank up your class. Kind of like how you can use Nopon coins for, um, you know, as, as in place of materials for cooking and uh gem crafting maybe that's the same thing here i don't really see what else napa coins would be used for other than leveling up your class rank but um yeah this video today's video is kind of short i just you know wanted to point this out real quick because i, I, I you know i thought it was broken at the time but now you know it's not maybe as good as i thought but mastering by no means is mastering skills bad it's just not you know as game breaking as i thought it'd be i thought we'd have like an entire skill tree that we could just master arts and swap between every character but then i forgot xenoblade one already has that so it's nothing new but we do get hero arts i mean hero skills so Hey, that may not be all too bad. And also, something I've noticed for a while is Alexandria right here. Underneath uh, Zeon right there, Alexandria, her sword looks a lot like the Purple Lightning Dream Smasher. You know, um, Zeke's sword in Xenoblade 2. So, I don't know if that was intentional, but I just wanted to point that out because, I mean, she is from Agnes. So, maybe uh, Alexandria is related to Zeke somehow? I doubt because Zeke is Tantalese, who are Tornin, and she doesn't have gold eyes, she has green eyes. But then again, I think just like pure Tornins only have gold eyes. I don't know, but that's a whole different thing that I'm not finna get into right now. But um, yeah, Mastering Skills is here, and if you look next to the skills and the arts, you have different numbers next to them. Protector's Pride has 5, Mind for Guarding has 15, Noble Taunt 1, Shield Bash 10, Deflector Field 20. I'm starting to think maybe that's the level you can master them at, or like you need to get up to that level in order to set those mastered skills or arts, because we do see that earlier in the direct when they're talking about master arts. Um, there's like the arts slots are locked behind level thresholds so maybe these numbers right here are just indicating that's what level you have to be at in order to actually set them so you got to be level five in order to set protector's pride 
or like master that skill and set it onto a character you have to be level 15 for mine for guarding so i don't know i just thought this was a uh, something cool that i just wanted to share that i noticed and i'm probably like super hella late to this but like it's hard i don't i don't notice a lot of things when i might like first watch through because i'm like so hype there's so much going on i'm just get super overwhelmed but it's not until i like go back and watch multiple times that i start noticing stuff that i didn't the first time so i've been watching this trailer like i've been watching the direct like every day since it was dropped and i you know discover something new that i didn't in the last watch so hey i don't know i might discover something tomorrow when i watch the damn direct again and make a video about that who knows but um yeah just a quick little video i wanted to make real quick but um yeah that's really that's uh that's really about it so i don't know maybe y'all knew about this and i'm just late which wouldn't really be a surprise because what am i not so yeah if y'all already knew about this just let me know in the comments but yeah that's really about it for this video so as always thanks for watching have a damn good day stay safe be well play some goddamn <laughs> still bleed